I'm Trisha Keen right now on your 13 Action News update. Clark County Public Administrator Robert Tellis faced a judge for the first time and learned he will be held without bail as he faces murder charges in the killing of reporter Jeff Gehrman. Tellis' arrest report says he attacked Gehrman on the side of his home as soon as he saw him, stabbed him seven times in the neck and torso. The Clark County District Attorney Steve Wilson says the DA's office is now looking at all of the evidence police have collected since the raid of Tellis' home and the state will likely file formal charges against him within the next 48 hours. Tellus's next court appearance is slated for Tuesday. The number of deaths on Valley Roads dipped for the first month of August. 25 people were killed statewide last month, and according to new figures from the Nevada Department of Public Safety, that is down from 38 deaths reported in August of last year, a change of about 34 percent. Here in Clark County, there have been 157 traffic fatalities so far. And looking at the numbers for monkeypox here in the Valley, the Southern Nevada Health District says there are now 185 probable and confirmed cases. That number is up 19 cases from last week's report showing 166 cases. The health district says they have administered over 4,500 vaccines. Kevin. All right, Tricia, clouds on the increase overnight, 83 for the low. If that verifies, by the way, it will be our fourth straight day with at least a tie for the warmest record, warmest low temperatures setting yet another record. During the afternoon, more clouds on Friday. Wind picks up too. few gusts over 20 miles per hour. Best chance for rain from the leftovers from K will be Saturday morning, but the threat will linger all the way into the early and middle stages of next week. And how about these highs? Double digits. In the afternoon, 70s overnight. Time to rejoice about those numbers, Tricia. Right, and that was your 13 Action News update. You'll, you can always get the latest news at KTNV.com.